Hi traders, welcome back to the Village Trader Charts. I'm your host, Njabul Ntibande. I'm also host of the Village Trader Podcast, the podcast that hosts trading with other traders. In fact, yesterday we marked a year since the very first episode of the podcast. Um, I did that uh, back last year in March this time um, with, with um, Simon Brown, that excellent chat that we had. Um, and I'd like to thank everybody, every guest that has come through to the show. I'd like to thank... Um, you guys for listening to the show, uh, you know, you make it worthwhile and, you know, the testimonies that I, that I get from time to time make make it worthwhile. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at predominantly the banks. Um, banks are looking quite lacquer at the moment. Um, the, you know, I'm lacking banks at the moment are starting to, to, to break higher again, um, the 30 week exponential moving average is looking bitterly close for most stocks to to crossing and but generally most banking stocks are breaking into um, higher boxes as it were but before we get into some charts today please do make sure that you subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss any of these videos and do drop a like um, it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithms and the like so let's get straight into some charts. First of uh, looking at Capitec. Capitec looking rather quite lacquer. Um, came back to test back the 1300 um, support level. Held quite well as you can see. When, once we get there, we had all sorts of reversal candles. We had a, a nice doji there. Um, or some people call it a hammer another doji there another one there um, and today it did look like it was breaking but I uh, came in close below just below the, the trend line uh, resistance um, the trend um, uh, trend line resistance um, of, of the bull flag there looking quite good but um, uh, and now broke back above the 50 day exponential moving average um, looking quite lacquer um, uh, it's a trade that I'm already in. Um, entered back uh, on that break um, there, uh, uh, above that 1,400 and some change. Um, the thought we were off to the races, but seemingly not. My stop was below those lows there. Um, it hasn't hasn't been touched as yet, um, and um, that level there looks get a place to pull my stop but I'm um, I'm gonna pull it once we start breaking properly higher um, and once we break and close above that 1400 level again um, I'm gonna throw my stop and um, add to my position uh, because my portfolio looks much better than uh, than it was and the risk on the trade has reduced quite significantly um, so yeah liking capital quite a bit as you can see that trend is continuing on Capitec. Um, that, that bullish flag looks quite good. Um, next on the list is um, Fresh Rand. So I'm waiting for these two to cross and they, they're looking very, very good to, to do that. It recently broke into a higher box, um, the 5360 box. Um, looking quite lacquer. I'm gonna look for a, a, an entry between the 53 and 60 uh, 53 rand and 60 box um 60 rand box um to 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 get a nice entry once these two uh moving averages have crossed um and when, when it did move they were still quite far apart um and it didn't i didn't like that um so i'm gonna i'm gonna once once these two cross i'm gonna add into, i'm gonna get into the trade uh, as you can see, two, uh, 50 day exponential moving average well behind us, and um, similarly, 200 day exponential moving average also uh, uh, well behind us. That orange line there um, looking quite lacquer. So, yeah, I'm just waiting. I'm, gonna, I'm sure I'm going to have a nice entry point or entry level, uh, whether it's like a falling wedge or a bullish flag or something of that sort. And then I'm going to take the trade. Uh, probably gonna put my stop somewhere around that 49 rand uh, level for now um, as a start and then we'll see as the trade goes by 
Um, but yeah, for now, that 49 Rand uh, levels of stop looks quite good. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I'm still waiting for that um, 30, 30 week exponential moving average to cross the 60 week exponential moving average before I can um, start taking that trade. Balo World. I'm uh, not a banking stock, but a stock that disappeared from my watching list now. It's starting to come back. And the 30 week uh, exponential moving average is about, let me see, 31 points from crossing. Bitterly close, bitterly close. So as it crossed that 100 Rand level, um, you know, I'm going to look for a 3% break. Uh, putting when once once it close above 103 rand, I'm gonna get into 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 buy low. I'm gonna probably put my stop below those low that swing low there around that 89 rand, um, 89 rand level. Looks looks good a place to put a stop. Uh, but yeah, waiting for that 303 rand level to 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 break. Um, yeah, I'm liking, I'm like, it's a stock I liked fundamentally for a while, um, balance sheet looking good, but you know, you guys know I don't trade the balance sheet, um, stock that I was invested in, I sold it eventually, but yeah, looking quite lacquer, um, but yeah, looking quite good, looking quite good. Um, next on the list is Balo. I do apologize, they're not in proper order, um, so they're quite mixed up. But uh, BitCorp is looking quite lacquer, looking quite lacquer. The 30-week exponential moving average is uh, slightly below by a few points, slightly below by a few points. But um, looking quite good and liking the, 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 um, the stock. Actually, haven't drawn my boxes on this one. Uh, when, uh, there you go. Uh, it's just... So I'm gonna probably gonna wait for a break above the. I'm probably gonna wait for a break through that three three four level, three hundred and thirty four and level. Um, and then I'm going to take the trade. Looking quite lucky. I'm, I'm liking uh, 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 Bitcoin quite a bit. Or either that or uh, if I get a nice um, uh, uh, um, signal, such as like a bull flag or a uh, falling wedge or something of that sort. But um, failure of which um, that th above that 334 level, liking it quite a bit. I'm going to go long above that um as you can see it's been making higher lows for some time now um breakthrough broke through that um ascending triangle pretty well um so yeah probably i'm gonna put a, a, a limit order just above that high there and then want to take out those highs man we off the, most likely off to the races but um we'll see we'll see with you know price action as as uh um a, as, as as the days as the days goes by um yeah but still waiting for these um this this these two to cross um you know this filter has been taking out taking me out of a bunch of trades and some of them are losing trades some of them have been um pretty good trades especially now that we're in a bull market i've been taking like a you know filtered out of good trades but I'm quite comfortable with that because uh, until the tide is turned, it hasn't turned for me. So, and the thing that tells me that the tide, um, the tide has turned, are these two exponential moving average, and then I can't lose my discipline around those. Uh, Bitvest looking quite good. As you can see, the 30-week exponential moving average is chasing that 60-week exponential moving average quite lacquer. Um, waiting for those to cross the banks like i said man banks are looking very very good banks are looking very very good um liking bitvest quite a bit um if i can draw my my boxes the there 
Um, as you can see, it recently broke into a, a new box. Um, let's bring it back there. Yeah, looking quite good, man. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna start looking for opportunities uh, on 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 Bitvest, but this needs to be red. I don't want the stock to come back to that um, one thirty seven one seven one box. It can do whatever it wants, but within these um, within the one seven one and two twelve um, range uh, or above, it can't go back below. If it does, then well. Uh, next is Investec looking looking very good, but as you can see, these two are still far far apart. Uh, but I'm starting to you know keep an eye on it. Uh, you know at a distance, not too, quite close. But I'm not gonna enter this trade for a while because of these two. As you can see, they still quite far apart. But stop acting quite good, man. Making lower highs. And I think the the, um, uh, uh, the 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 Reserve Bank allowing the the banks to pay out dividends again is the the, the catalyst that is starting to push um, uh, the bank prices uh, higher. And uh, possibly when the results come again, there will be an even higher catalyst. Um, most trading updates have been quite positive on the banks. Um, similarly is NetBank looking quite like our trading quite good um, looking looking very very well man looking very very well staying above that um, 50 day exponential moving average I haven't crossed the 200 day exponential beautiful golden cross there um, golden cross is one of the most powerful uh, crosses of moving averages, which is when the 50 crosses the, the 200 day exponential moving average, very, very lacquer. But like I said before, until the, the turn, the tide has turned, it hasn't. So until these two moving averages have crossed, um, you know, that I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to, uh, my rules are not going to allow me to, to enter on a uh, med bank, at least not, not, not as yet. Rand Merchant Investment Holding. Boy, this looks good. This looks very, very good. Um, nice head and shoulders pattern there. Um, nice symmetrical triangle there. Uh, doesn't wind at the back, you know, breaking into higher boxes. It's been staying in this box for a while. But above that 33 Rand, I'm liking the stock quite a bit. And if you, if I can, uh, let me remove that a little bit. Um, let's remove that as well. And make our chart slightly bigger. There is a trade here. There is a bullish flag trade here. And there's a nice trade here, man. There's a nice trade, you know. 50 day exponential moving average behind me, 200 day exponential moving average behind me, 60, uh, um, 30 week exponential moving average above the 60 week exponential moving average, head and shoulders pattern, man, you can't ask for more, man. You can't, you, you simply can't ask for more. And I'm possibly going to take this trade uh, market open tomorrow uh, with a stop below, um, below that low there just to be a bit more cautious um on, on on this trade you know taking it slowly or just perhaps it will just put it just underneath just underneath those lows there um uh, on the on the 23 28 box as a start almost like a, as a testing order uh on on the trade and when we break through that um 33 and 50 level then i go uh, full in on the trade pulling my stop quite aggressively and that means you know the momentum is is, is back and the wind is back behind um, the rent merchant investment holding trade but i'm liking it quite a bit that bullish flag breakout there plus a bullish engulfing candle today i mean engulfs one two three four five candles Man, you can't you can't ask for more. You can't you can't ask for more. I'm liking this trade quite a bit. I'm liking this trade quite a bit. I'm probably gonna enter first thing market open tomorrow. 
Um, next is Sapi. Sapi it's a trade that I'm now in. Uh, I just pulled that big. They change my color coding. This needs to be red. That needs to be red. And now that can go away. And this is now green. So, Sapi looking good, breaking into a higher box. Trade I'm already in. Um, my stop is just below that um, that swing low there. Uh, also below the, that 50 day exponential moving average. And you can see these two recently crossed, thick it crossed as I was entering, it crossed on the day that I was entering, liking this trade quite a bit. Um, and if you if you do zoom out on the Sapi trade, man that 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 17 30 rand is is support i think it's where the insiders find value in the stock and starting buying it back the the the, the stock um and that bre breakthrough that was quite significant and uh, indeed it was it, it was significant and the tide has officially turned on sapi um, I'm gonna add into into the position in due to, in due course, but yeah, and and the, the the price hasn't gotten away. Um, if you trade like I do, it's still a good place to 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 take the trade, and don't take this like a, as as a trading tip or whatever. I'm not um <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not um uh, I'm not giving out tips. I'm just uh, I'm sharing my experience. Um, next is Shoprite. Shoprite starting to look good again. Uh, but I still wanted to break outside of this box. Uh, trade. I'm, I'm, I'm in the trade. Uh, it was a that run cup and handle trade that I took. Um, still in the trade, but as we break through that uh, 150 level, I'm going to add into the position and I'm going to put my stop uh, below that swing low there and it will be below, uh, it, you know, 50 day, uh, behind, below 200 day and below the 30 week and also below the 60 week explanation moving average. And recently those two have crossed, looking quite good, looking quite good. Perhaps when the results come out, um, they're going to be... A, a catalyst that pushes the stock higher last but not least started with banks ending with banks standard bank um if you remember a while ago i did mark uh the the the, the standard bank uh price action uh like this uh to to come here hold some support around that 118 uh push back higher um uh, but I'm still waiting for the 30 week exponential moving average to cross. I'm not in a hurry for this trade, but yeah, man, looking quite good. I'm liking the banks quite a bit. They're starting to pick up some momentum and let's just wait for the results um, and see and see if, if there's a bit of, of, of catalyst there and you can see that trend line. They're looking quite good. Um, as long as the, the staying above this trend line and break, breaking into higher boxes, I'm looking to, to I'm, I'm watching this, I'm, I'm starting to watch the banks uh, quite closely. But hey man, it's a bull market, stocks are going higher and in the bull market our job is to buy some stocks and hold them until they stop going higher, in which case we take some money and go on a holiday. Um, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and uh, be sure to subscribe if you're new. Uh, drop a like on this video if you like the content. Uh, do get on the comment section down below. Let me know what you think um, of these charts that we're looking at. Let, let me know what um, some of the charts that you're looking at. Um, and again, man, I'm very, very grateful for everybody that's been tuning into the podcast for the past year. Um, very very grateful for every guest that is as 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 um uh borrowed me their time i really really appreciate it um thank you again for the support uh do drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new hit the bell notification button so you don't miss any of these videos um the podcast tomorrow do check it out and and you know i'm talking about 
you know how to be the trader that you wish you were great beautiful podcast um check it out it is going to be out tomorrow and again tomorrow john simon and myself follow the trader as we trade live live cfds and you'll see my account and my portfolio tomorrow um as i you know as we trade live accounts with think markets and link to those in the description below including links to registering with think markets brilliant broker um zero comms and that sort of thing charting platform that i'm using think trading view nice nice stuff there um so yeah that's it for today check you next time with the british trader cheers <laughs>